So now that we have our file server up and running and configured, let's take a look a little bit more about creating and working with shares. So uh, from PowerShell, we saw this before, I can do get SMB share, and that's going to give me all of my SMB shares. Now if I want to find more out about a share, let me do get SMB share net logon. If I just type it straight, that's just going to give me the basic information. But like everything else with PowerShell, if I want to know more, I can pipe it to get member. And that's going to give me a bunch of other information about that share, including so there's going to be methods, so things we're doing with it. And then here are properties, current users, encrypt data, identity remoting infrastructure. Okay, notice one thing that's not available in here is permissions. Well, that's because that's not part of the get SMB share. That we find using get SMB share access. And then I have to actually give it the name of a share in order to pull any information. So for the net logon share, you'll see that everyone is allowed read access and administrators are allowed full control. And I can do this all in one line. That's a mandatory parameter. So the way you would normally type it would be get SMB share access net logon, and that'll pull it all up. All right, what if I want all of my shares and their permissions? Well, there's a little limitation to this. So if I do get SMB share access without anything, we already saw it, it requires a parameter. If I do the asterisk, it says, yeah, I can't find a share with the name of asterisk. So the way we get around that is we pipe objects to it. So we do get SMB share and then we pipe that to get SMB share access. And that's actually going to give us everything. And you'll see right here the, all of the names and then the permissions. And it kind of puts everything together in a wall of text. So if you want to clean this up a little bit, we'll do get SMB share, pipe it to get SMB share access, pipe that to format table. And I want to group by name, spelled name correctly. And now it's going to break it down for me. So for the IPC share, these are my permissions. For the sysvol share, these are my permissions. For the net logon share, these are my permissions. And using that command actually gives us a great way to uh, view all of our permissions all in one place. OK, now what if I want to create a new one? Well, let's start by creating ourselves a new folder to share. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to set location, C colon backslash, and I want to create a new item. And it's the generic command new item, which we'll use for creating files or directories, or depending on where we're at, we can create a bunch of different things for it. So it's a generic, but I need to specify what I want. So I'm going to do item type, and I'm going to create a directory. And I'm going to name the directory sample share. And that should create a new directory for me from C colon backslash called sample share. And if I do a get child item, if I can spell get child item, I'll see my new folder there called sample share. OK, now to create a new share is actually really simple. The command is new dash SMB share, new SMB share, and um, I'm going to give it the share name. I'm going to say sample, and then I'm going to set the path for it, C colon backslash sample share. And remember, it's not in this, it's uh, PowerShell is case aware, but not case sensitive. So the fact that I did sample share here with capital S's and I'm not doing it here, actually not going to create a problem for me. So that created a new share for me. The share name is sample. The scope is everywhere. It's C colon sample share. I don't have a description for it. Now let's go back to our properties here. So I'm going to do a get SMB share sample. And that's going to give me my little sample there. Now I can pipe that to get member, which is going to show me all of my properties. Or I can pipe that to format list or FL for short. Now, 
FL is just going to put things in a list for me, but if I want to see all of my options, it's FL and then asterisk says show me all of my properties. And so here we go. These are all of our properties for our share named sample. Share state is online, it's not clustered, it's file system directory share, caching mode, leasing mode, SMB instance, continuously available. Are we uh, requiring data to be encrypted? which is something we can set. Remember, we did that. We enabled it on the server. Now we can enable it on the individual shares. Uh, what's the name? What's the path? Um, now, one other thing that I want us to see here. So we haven't set permissions on it yet. Um, this is what I was looking for right here, is folder enumeration mode. And this is a big one. And you'll also notice description is blank. So we might want to put something in description just so that we know what it is. Folder enumeration mode says it defines how people are allowed to see folders. So if somebody has, doesn't have NTFS permissions, should they be allowed to see the folder or not? So um, I like using. Uh, access-based enumeration, which means if you don't have the NTFS permissions to read it, you shouldn't see that it's there. I would rather do that than have you see it, click on it, and get an error message that says you can't. So let's say we wanted to make a couple of shares. Let's say we wanted to display the, uh, or we wanted to set it to access-based enumeration, and we want to set a description. Well, let's do get command noun SMB share and you're going to see that we have get SMB share which we've played with new remove that's obvious set SMB share just like everything else we've been dealing with uh, is how we set options so I'm going to set SMB share and I'm going to set it's going to be sample it's going to be the name of the share and then I'm going to set what I want so I'm going to set the description property DCR, to be sample share for demo and then I'm gonna do the other one remember was the folder enumeration mode and I'm gonna set it to access based and remember you can look these up uh, using the command get uh, help on SMB share and let me see if I can spell folder enumeration mode. E N U M E R A T A N. Yes, there we go. Spell enumeration correctly. All right, now I can do a get SMB share. And this time I want to put it in a list format. Whoops, let me specify which one. Sample. And I want to put it in a list so it's format list or like we showed earlier FL for short and I want to include the name I want to include the scope uh, I want to include let me capitalize scope so it looks better I want to include the path and the description yeah I just hit the wrong thing there we go and folder enumeration mode. So I'm specifying just those things that I want. And I had the wrong thing for scope. I'm going to scroll back up here. I think it is scoped is the one that I wanted. Scope name is the one that I wanted. But that's okay. I don't care that much. Um finish scrolling back down here. All right, so this gives us everything in a nice little layout. All right, what about permissions? So I'm going to get SMB share access for sample. Now, I haven't done anything with this yet. By default, anytime you create an SMB share, everyone has read access. Now, I'm going to remind you about something here with permissions. Um, when you're dealing with permissions and you're working over a share, um, 
permissions are cumulative. Share level permissions are cumulative. So if you're part of the everyone group, you have read access. If you're part of another group that has higher level access, you have that higher level access. Um, NTFS permissions are cumulative. So if you're part of one group that has read access and another group that has modify access, you have modify access. They're cumulative. However, in a conflict between uh, share permissions, SMB share permissions, which we're seeing here, and NTFS permissions, the most restrictive wins. So because of that, what a lot of people like to do, and I put myself in this category, rather than trying to maintain two separate sets of permissions and make sure they don't conflict, what I tend to do is I tend to give everybody full control access at the share level. And then I'll use NTFS permissions, which are way more effective, way more flexible, way more secure to handle the actual permissions. So, and by doing that, by giving everyone full control at the share, then my NTFS permissions will control access. I'll have much better control and I won't run into a possible situation where I access something over share and I trip over a read only access rate. So how would I do that? Well, let's do a get command for the noun SMB share access. And that's going to give us all of our options. I can revoke, unblock, grant, get, or block. I'm going to grant additional access. So it's going to be grant SMB share access. Actually, let me do a get help on this one so you can see it because I haven't done that for a while. Get help for grant SMB share access. All right, so we set the access right, so it can be full, change, read, or custom. We set the account name that we want them applied to, and that's really about it. Um, it's really pretty straightforward. Now remember, this one only grants access. It doesn't block access or revoke access. For that, you'd look at revoke access. All right, so here's, I'm going to give everyone full control here. So it's going to be grant SMB share access. The share name is going to be sample. My account name is going to be everyone. And notice I put that in quotes because sometimes account names are going to be more than one. And that identifies, hey, this is text. And then I want them to have full access. So it's going to be access right full. And what that's going to do is that's going to give, right here you're going to see it, everyone now is allowed full access. So I'm going to use NTFS permissions then to control actual access inside the files and folders of that share. Now, just as a heads up, managing uh, ACLs and NTFS permissions at uh, in PowerShell is possible but it's difficult. Um, so my suggestion is create your share and then connect to it from a workstation. And then connecting to it from a workstation, you can use the GUI there to create your folders underneath it. And you've just given everyone full access to it. So you now have full access. And you can go through and set your folders and your NTFS permissions using the GUI uh, from a workstation. And that's probably going to be easier than trying to do it here. Uh, it'll be easier and cleaner. Okay. So we have created and set permissions on an SMB share.